Hi everyone, welcome back to Cybersecurity TV. So in the previous episode we talked about the privacy and anonymity and now this week we're gonna start with the Tor uh, browser. This is very common and you must have heard it but I'm gonna uh, tell you some uh, secrets behind it. So in terms of like you know maybe in some part of the world uh, the ISP really blocks the Tor traffic so we're gonna uncover what are the ways to bypass it but first off let's just get started with how do you download the Tor browser if, if you are the first time uh, using it so uh, of course you can just go to the uh, website called torproject.org and then you can download the version that that's appropriate for you uh, one thing you definitely want to make sure so here you can see the signature is loaded for each and every version of the Tor browser um, you definitely want to verify the Tor browser because what really happens is sometimes you're trying to download this uh, this Windows binary or the Mac OS the request goes to the ISP or maybe let's say your net network administrator they can obviously change the traffic and then router or change the binary which you're downloading so in order to verify that you're using the real Tor browser and you get uh, a, a good privacy you make sure you verify the signature by following the steps which are mentioned here so you can just download here you can go to the uh, how can I verify Tor browser signature which will take you to this page of course uh, for Windows it's easy you can just download the GPG for win uh, which I already have downloaded and already confirmed uh, for the integrity of the version that I'm using but yeah uh, you can just follow the steps and and verify the signature as so you have downloaded and verify the signature open up the Tor browser uh, from here and go to the check Tor project org and if your connection has been successful and the installation is good then it will say congratulations this browser is configured to use Tor and then it will show you the IP address this IP address will not be this one that uh, you are using or you will find in your Google uh, or like you know check my IP address uh, because this one of obviously coming it from one of the tour node or network so this is all good like you know when you're starting off with the tour and then you have the installed so that's all good in terms of like you know uh, downloading tour and, and using it uh, but now let's talk about what are the issues that you could get uh, by your network administrator or some firewall or or the isp now this is the normal tour network that we saw right so you have the tour client then you have multiple nodes in between in the tour network and then you have your destination now within the Tor network there could be a, uh, like you know uh, before even you hit the Tor network there is an ISP or network admin uh, depending on from where you are accessing which can uh, which can uh, see the traffic or at least the uh, like you know the packets which are going through it. So suppose you are the user and, and it's going through the ISP and then going through the Tor network instead of directly Tor, Tor client what uh, ISP can do is they can block all the traffic. Now how do they do that? Uh, because this endpoints uh, or this network points within the Tor network are nothing but uh, a public like in, uh, internet endpoints, right? That's how you can connect to it. So these endpoints can be connected or can be viewed by anyone on the internet. So what the ISP usually is going to do is they will be blocking uh, this endpoint. So as soon as they see the traffic uh, going uh, or targeted to one of these endpoint. Uh, they will block the traffic so which will not uh, allow you to uh, be anonymous and which will not allow you to uh, browse the network uh, through the tour so that's the issue now the solution to that is use the bridge so bridges are tour relays that helps you circumvent the censorship right so that's that's what the bridge is now to understand this better uh, what the bridge mode is uh, so this is the normal traffic how it goes now in between these nodes there is also a bridge nodes uh, these nodes are private these are not publicly available these are not open uh, to public so uh, ISP does not know which endpoints are this and they can obviously do not cannot block the traffic if you are connecting to the bridge first so uh, assume like you know this one is the bridge node so the traffic will go from ISP to this bridge node and then from the bridge node it will go to the entry mode then the relay mode and then the exit node so instead of directly to entry it will first go to the bridge and this one is private uh, private node so no one knows about this node and and that's how the uh, we can bypass the ISP restriction on on connecting to the uh, to the Tor network so that's uh, that's like you know one way to bypass the second uh, uh, like you know issue we could get into is the deep packet filtering uh, and what that is is 
uh, let's say your ISP again uh, is doing the deep packet filtering like a firewall rules and uh, what the firewall uh, or the what packet filtering does is they have some patterns and and here each incoming packet to the ISP will be analyzed so it doesn't just analyze like you know where you're connecting it actually analyze the data of the payload or the of the packet and if it matches to the signature of the tor uh, traffic then it blocks or drops the packet which will not allow you to uh, obviously like you know browse the uh, tor traffic as uh, as normally as you would so that's uh, a second concern or, or second level of blockage uh, any any isp uh, can can do or your network administrator so how to bypass this one for that we're gonna use the pluggable transport um, so there are several pluggable transport and it can be hard to know which one to use but if it's your first time do try and this is from the tor uh, website itself you want to try obf s4 and what it does is it's randomizing transport so it adds an extra layer of specialized encryption between you and your bridge right so we just talked about the bridge node that makes store traffic look like a random bytes it also resists active probing attacks where the sensor uh, discovers bridges by trying to connect to them right so now the uh, what it does is it converts the traffic into the random bytes so when it's actually analyzed by this packet filtering it doesn't know where the traffic is going to or or it doesn't it, it's very hard to compare with the signature of the tra traffic so that way uh, we can easily bypass the firewall and be able to browse the tor traffic so now the eventually uh, how your tor network or tor browser will will go through is you have this store browser and then you have this like you know client and then you have this pluggable transport we, i'll explain in the future video like how you can use the bridge and how you are uh, how you can use the pluggable transport in case uh, it's it's like you know you cannot access normally like i uh, like i just showed you so then uh, so if it's a normal traffic let's say like you know going to tor and tor uh, store is directly connecting to the uh, tor network then it's blocked by the sensor but if it's going by pluggable transport, it, it converts into the random bytes, and then the random bytes goes, gets connected uh, to the Tor network, and then goes out of the Tor network, right? So this is the border at which the sensor uses the DPI to block certain traffic, like we just saw. So this is these are like you know two uh, ways of kind of uh, way uh, ISP can block the Tor traffic, and then there are two other ways that how we can bypass those uh, controls. That the ISP has put in, but hopefully, uh, do try um, uh, install the Tor, Tor network or Tor browser. Uh, check it out if it's working for you or not. Uh, so let me know in the comment section if you are facing any issues installing or or verifying the signature or you do not know how to use the Tor. Uh, do let me know. I'll try to explain be thorough as much as possible. But we'll we're gonna take this very slowly so uh, like you know you have enough time to understand and practice yourself. Uh, but yeah, ultimately, uh, I will show you how to connect to the dark web uh, uh, using this store network and everything. So hopefully you like this session. Uh, please give it a thumbs up uh, if you haven't already and subscribe to this channel. I will all see you all next Monday. Thank you.